Hello, family and friends. I hope you're doing good. I am by the grace of God. And of course, you know, I try to quiz myself every week on the Igbo language of Nigeria. Of course, you know, that's personal to me as, you know, we've traced our ancestry back via DNA to the Igbo tribe of Southeast Nigeria. And so I think it's right that, you know, since it's part of my heritage to make sure that and I learned the language as well. And so I do this type of video. Actually, I had been doing audio files uh, leading up to this. But I thought I'd do a, a video today because you can see the words that I'm trying to pronounce at the same time. So I appreciate, especially my friends and family that's been trying to pick up crumbs and pieces from the table of the Igbo language as I have and following along. So I thought I'd give you a visual. You can see what the words look like that I'm trying to pronounce. Um, as you know, I've been teaching myself to count. For so that is the main reason why I'm doing this, to learn how to count from 1 to 100. And I'm completing that right now. And so I'm just going to go through 1 to 100. And I'm going to say a few words that I've learned along the way as a fictional shopping list, as if someone was going to the market in uh, Nigeria. All right. So what I'll do is I'll pronounce the list number, then the English word, then I'll pronounce the Igbo word, and then the Igbo number in that order. The reason, except for the number one in Igbo, one comes first in Igbo, and then any other numbers after that, two, three, four, five, all the way to 100, comes after the word in an Igbo list. So hopefully that makes sense and you'll see that in a minute here. So let me go through the ones one through 100 really quickly here because I know it's a longer video than what I'm typically doing, but it's, I would say, the grand finale of my learning how to count to 100 and trying to build my... All right, so the first one would be in the list. Number one would be book and that would be pronounced in Igbo as follows. Otu Akwokwa. Otu Akwokwa. That is number one is a book in my list. All right. Two shoes would be Apopa Okwu Aboa. Three in the list would be eyeglasses. Ata. So again, eyeglasses, three eyeglasses, Anyo Anya. Ata. Four. Bed. Would be aqua ana. Aqua ana. Five cross would be obey ise. Six umbrella would be incheanwo isi. Seven motorcycle would be abatuntum asa. Eight car would be Obala Asato. Nine spoon would be Ingaji Itolu. Ten balloon would be Bolambolo Iri. So remember, it, number ten is Iri in Evo. Eleven broom would be Aziza Iri Na Otu. Twelve flower would be Okoko Irina Aboa. Thirteen television would be television Irina Ata. Fourteen table would be Tabulu Irina Ana. Fifteen pillow would be Umpalisi Irina Ise. Sixteen light bulb would be Iri Ako Beke Irina Isi. 17 telephone would be Iwe Oku Ikuku Irina Asa. 18, 18 air conditioning would be Intuyi Irina Asato. 19 candle would be Iri Aku Irina Itolu. 20 chair would be Oche Iri Aboa. So remember to get 20, you would have Iri, which is 10, Aboa, which is 2, so you multiply them. So Iri Aboa becomes 20. 
So that's how you get those multiples of 10 that are learned in EBO. All right. Okay, items 21 through 30 would be, 21 pot would be ite, iri aboa na otu. 22 cup would be iko, iri aboa na aboa. 23 tau would be aqua miri, iri aboa na ata. 24 clock. Would be twenty four clock would be Ele Kerry Iri Aboa na Ana twenty five cell phone would be a quinte Iri Aboa na Ise twenty six toothpaste would be Inchaese nope let me say that again twenty six toothpaste would be Inchaese Iri Aboa na Isi 27 dog would be Inkita, Iri Aboa na Asa, 28 fan. 28 fan would be Akupe, Iri Aboa na Asato. 29 soap would be Incha, Iri Aboa na Itolu. 30 bottle would be Karama, Iri Ata. So again, you got multiples of 10, so Iri 10, Ata would be 3, so 10 times 3 would be 30. All right, so we're going on to the next grouping, which would be 34 to 40. And 34 to, oh, excuse me, 40. so 31 to 40 would begin my list for the market. Imaginary list would be 31 nail would be in two iri ata na o two. 32 guitar would be oba iri ata na aboa. 33 rope would be Oda Iri Ata Na Ata. 34 bowl, bowl, like as you eat out of. 34 bowl would be Ako Iri Ata Na Ana. 35 basket would be Inkata Iri Ata Na Ise. 36 sponge would be Obo Iri Ata Na E C. Thirty-seven photo would be photo. Iriata na asa. Thirty-eight plate would be efere. Iriata na asato. Thirty-nine knife would be uma. Iriata na itolu. Forty would. Be, Forty mirror would be ngebe iriana. All right, moving on to. The list for items 41 to 50. So 41 jewelry would be Ola, Iri Ana Na Otu. 42 bicycle would be Iwe, Iri Ana Na Aboa. 43 candle would be Kando, Iri Ana Na Ato. Nope, said that wrong. 43 candle would be Kando, Iri Ana Na Ata. 44 scissors would be Agoba, Iri Ana Na Ana. 45 fence would be Ahuaja, Iri Ana Na Ise. 46 puzzle, Ajoaza would be Iri Ana Na Ise. 47 cloth would be Aqua, Iri Ana Na asa. Forty-eight pillow would be aqua isi. Iri na na asato. Forty-nine toothbrush would be auto. Iri na na itolu. And fifty belt would be belutu. Iri ise. So that's again that's a multiple of ten. So iri ten. Ise being five. So that's ten times five. So to make fifty, you would say iri ise. All right, it's the first half of the list. Second half of the list starts with item 51 through 60 of the Igbo language. Uh, so here it goes. 51 would be paddle, and that would be pronounced in Igbo. Amala iri ise na otu. 
52 ball would be Mbalu Iri Ise Na Aboa. 53 symbol would be Eferi Egu Iri Ise Na Ata. Scarf would be 54 scarf. That would be mean, excuse me, get it right. 54, item 54 scarf would be Ichafo Iri Ise Na Ana. 55 camera lens would be Anya Ose Inyinyo. Iri Ise Na Isi. 56 music. Egwu. Iri Ise Na Isi. 57 movie. Movie. Iri Ise Na Asa. 58 drum. I've heard pronounced two ways. I guess it depends on the Igbo dialect you're talking about. But 58 drum is Iba Iri Ise Na. Or the other Igbo pronunciation I get is 58 drum Eba. Iri Ise Na Asato. 59 box would be Ibe. Iri Ise Na Itolu. 60 key would be Igodo. Iri Ise. So again, that's a multiple of 10. To get 60, you would have Iri 10 times Ise, which would be 6. So that becomes 60. All right, moving along. Items 61 to 70 in our imaginary shopping list for the market in uh, Nigeria of the Igbo lands. Uh, item 61 to 70 would be 61 string, would be Igwe na ana ana, iri isi na otu. 62 canoe would be Oba amala, iri isi na aboa. 63 coin would be Ego. Again, 63 coin would be Ego Iwe Iri Isi Na Ota. 64 stove, in other words, what you cook upon would be Eku Ako Iri Isi Na Ana. Tools would be Ingwa Ingwa Oru. Let me say it again. 65 tools would be Ingwa Oru Iri Isi Na Ise. Radio. 66 radio would be Igwe Ozi, Iri Isi Na Isi. 67 bucket would be Ite Miri, Iri Isi Na Asa. 68 ukulele would be Jinta, Iri Isi Na Asato. 69 carpet would be Kapeti, Iri Isi Na Itolu. 70 bell would be Mbiriba, Iri Asa. So that begins again that multiple of 10 in Igbo, you would have to start with Iri 10 times Asa 8, uh, Asa, excuse me, 7. So it's Iri 10, Asa 7. So 10 times 7 would be 70. All right, almost done. Thank you for your time and your patience. We're trying to learn a little bit along with me. All right, so item 71 to 80 would be the following. 71 pen would be Mpcio de Iriasa na O2. 72 blanket would be Mpoit, excuse me, let me get it that again. 72, bl 72 blanket would be Mpuchioyi Iriasa na Aboa. 73 lantern would be Mpanaka. Iri asa na ata. 74 toilet would be umbosi. Iri asa na ana. 75 map would be ingo si puta ese rese. Iri asa na isi. 76 swing would be ingwa egu regu. Iri asa na isi. Staff, like a walking staff, would be Inpa. Iri asa na asa. 78 firewood would be Inko. Iri asa na asato. Bo would be Inuku ifere. Iri asa na itolu. 80 chalk would be Inzu. Iri asato. 
So again, it's a multiple of 10. So eerie 10, asato 8. So 10 times 8 would be 80. All right. Continue to teach myself how to count with items 81 to 90 and build my vocabulary through some random words here would be 81 ladder would be obey, iri asata, na otu. Let me do that again. 81 ladder would be obey, iri asata, na otu. Obey, iri asata, na otu. 82 stool. 82 stool would be aberi oche, iri asato na aboa. 83 sink. Oda insacha. Iri asata na ato. 84 ivory necklace. That would be ingo olu. Odo ingi. Nope. So let me say it again. 84 ivory necklace would be ingo olu. Odo. Made a mistake again. 84 ivory necklace would be ingo olu. Odo. Anyi, iri asato na ana. 85 pipe would be aba, iri asato na isi. Nope, nope, nope. 85 pipe would be aba, iri asato na ise. 86 flute would be aja, iri asato na isi. 87 flag would be akalata, akalata. Iri asato na asa. So again, 87 flag would be aka lata. Iri asato na asa. 88 hat would be opu. Iri asato na asato. 89 stone would be okute. Iri asato na itolu. 90 whistle would be ope. Iri itolu. So again, that's the multiple of 10. To make 90, you would have eerie 10 times itolu times 9 would be 90. Okay, so for last grouping on the list then, which would be items 91 to 100. Again, as I quiz myself to learn the Igbo language of Nigeria, that will conclude... Uh, teaching myself how to count, I believe I'm going to try to do something like animals, things that I'm passionate about, and learn it on the next uh, next week coming up. All right, so items 91 to 100. Notice with 100, you don't have the eerie anything on that. It's just literally nari. That's how you say 100 in Igbo, nari. All right, but 91 to 100 is what we're at. Uh, 91 vase, like for flowers, would be udu. Iri itolu na otu. 92 coin would be omumu. Iri itolu na aboa. 93 bag of charcoal. You know, we like the barbecue. So 93 bag of charcoal would be. 93 bag of charcoal would be. Apa unyi. Iri itolu na ata. 94 pencil would be. Uri aquo kwa. 94 pencil will be Uri Aquo Kwa Iri Itolu Na Ana. 95 button, like a button on a shirt, would be Mpochi Iri Itolu. Ah, let me do it again. 95 bu button would be imp 95 button would be Mpachi Iri Itolu Na Ise. 96 zipper would be. Mpachi Uwe, Iri Itolu Na Isi. 97 Bible would be, and it's probably the most important word of them all for me, being a Christian, would be Akokwa Insa. Akokwa Insa Bible. I'm stressing that one on purpose. So 97 Bible would be Akokwa Insa, Iri Itolu Na Asa. 98. Computer, very important to me. I've worked with computers all my life, even as a hobby. So 98 computer is almost just said like an accent instead of an, another language in the way that I hear it. 
So 98 computer would be Computa. Computa. So it would be 98 computer would be Computa. Iri Itolu na Asato. 99 laptop computer would be Laptopu. Nope, nope. 99 laptop computer would be Laptopo. Computa. Laptopo. Computa. Iri Itolu na Itolu. And the final word, 100 generator, because I've seen that a lot in Nigeria. I think we're going to have to have a generator uh, for electric his uh, uh, electricity, that is. So 100 generator would be, Janie, ah, that was hard to get out for me. 100 generator would be, Janie Rato, that again is Janie Rato Nari. So again, thank you for taking this journey with me. As I've been able to teach myself by the helps of other tutors uh, abroad. And thank you for your patience with all this process. And a little over two months into it. So hopefully I'm doing some kind of progression there. But I'm in it for the long haul. So I'm in it for uh, years to come. So I can be not only be able to speak it and write it. But be fluent in the uh, language as well. Uh, so again, I'm hearing some things out there that, you know, they're concerned that the Igbo language is dying out. Well, I tell you what, there's a way around that one. There's a lot of black Americans like me that have Igbo ancestry that actually literally have to relearn uh, Igbo culture and the language. And there's a whole lot of us that would love to do that. So keep working with us and have patience with us. And you're going to see the Igbo language actually spread across the uh, the globe. If you keep working with people like us and people in the Caribbean, which we call the Igbo diaspora, uh, we're willing and ready to learn and be conversational and reconnect with our people abroad. Uh, so again, take care. God bless. So from the 40 million black Americans over here that we more than likely have Igbo ancestry because of the slave trade, uh, the two biggest tribes that were taken into slavery and brought to America and the Caribbeans in the British slave trade were actually Igbos and Yorubas. So it's almost virtually impossible to be a black American and not be at least part Igbo. One of my hobbies is also genealogy. And so I like to trace my family tree and combine that with um, DNA analysis. And of course, many of my family lines trace back to Virginia. And if your ancestry starts in Virginia, there's basically no way you can be without Igbo ancestry because the data today shows that um, all slaves that were brought into the state of Virginia numbered about 40% of the entire slave population. So to put that in perspective, they pretty much, the Igbos, our ancestors, were the largest group of enslaved people that came to America in the state of Virginia. So if you got Virginia roots, you more than likely got Biafra roots all the way back to Igbo land in Nigeria. The Bida Biafra is where most black Americans actually come from, which you include the Yoruba as well. Um, if you really want to study this, especially that's my other hobby is African history. And you have to do that if you're going to go into your own genealogy and family history. You have no choice but to understand the African slave trade, because you're going to hit that wall if you don't. And some of you, I can probably help you through some of those walls, especially one of the things you want to understand with your genealogy. Not all your ancestors were slaves. So you do have some black ancestors that actually were free during the slavery era. And those are the easiest ones to trace. And that's the ones on my side that are Igbos. I can trace them back to the... Uh, uh, State of Virginia and the United States back to 1784. So I believe So I believe. with that being said, um, I'm only a generation or two away from discovering the name of my Igbo ancestors. Uh, so that would be a happy day for us. That's a hard battle to fight. I've already been doing genealogy and DNA research for 10 years now. And my black ancestry, I can go back to 1784. And that's in our Drake family line for those in my family, if you know what I'm talking about. All right. Take care. God bless. And thanks for letting me ramble at the end as well. And, and studying along with me, if you're trying to learn a little bit by little bit like I am, 
uh, with the Igbo language and culture of Nigeria, which is most of our family tree in Black America. All right, take care. God bless. Bye-bye.